Welcome back guys, we're on to part 3, let's get right into this, hopefully you guys do enjoy, and let's go. Okay, okay, we got this, deck 3. Com's deck took quite a pounding from micrometeorites whipped up by the black hole, a hell of a lot of Okay, guys, I just want to skip through here, and I actually want to go into something called upgrades. We do have to upgrade ourselves to continue moving through. And, yeah, I'm about to show you. We're about to come up to the next upgrade I'm about to have. It's about to change the suit. It's going to look very nice. It's going to be nice, yeah. And, yeah, here we go, guys. Okay, guys, and that's going to lead us to the next thing that is not going to be cut. It's going to be like just a full mission. And it's uh, we're putting the power back on, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy that. Um, I, I was scared through a lot of it, so I don't talk. So, But there will be shooting, dodging, running, hiding. And, yeah, here we go. like this area was torn apart pretty badly. There's huge redundancies in the sensor grid though. We might just have to reroute the connections. What do you need? We're going to need to mess around with the power modules to fix this. They'll give you a nasty shock if you touch them though. I could use a gravimetric hook to move them about. The ambient power here should keep it running. Good plan. And there's one nearby. Okay. Behind those three blast doors are the power couplings for the sensor array. We're going to need to fit a power module into each car. Only we might also need to use the modules to power the doors. I'll figure something out. That's got it. You can use the hook to fit the power module if you need it elsewhere. You'll need to fit a power module into the coupling here to power it up. All three will need to be powered for this to work for you. Incoming, Zimri! Use the hook to throw them if you have to! <laughs> Yeah, at this point, guys, I did get scared, and I'm just looking around for no good reason. So, yeah, I just want to give you guys that heads up. I'm not going to say anything. It's just, this is, this is me being scared. At this point, guys, I do figure out what I'm doing wrong, and I'm like, I have to open that door on the left before anything else. So, yeah. And this is where I realize I have to switch the power, so... Yeah, I know. Everything's really slow, guys. It's okay. I do figure this stuff out. It, it, I'm a little dumb. It's okay. So this is going to be a second. So guys, I do hide in here thinking enemies will come in, but I will come back here and I will hide. So just keep that as a note, guys. I am a big baby throughout the whole for this whole game.
Now this is where the enemies start coming in. And yeah, it, it gets, it's like, yeah, no, I made a mistake right there. But yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll get these guys. I do the little dumb up and down thing, too. This guy right there, that scared me for some reason. I was panicky when I saw him on fire. He has that little dumb up and down, up and down, just smashing him against the wall. Uh, yeah, this was a dumb idea, but it got the job done. So, you know, oh, damn. Another reason I hid down here is because these big guys can't get to me, so I can just smash them up and down like that. Even though I think I have a gun, and I just don't use it, and that's the sad thing about this. There's that gun, but yeah, the I think the music stops around here and I exit because I get don't get scared anymore. So yeah. Hold on, hold on. Before we even go out, because I'm terrified. Yeah, for some reason this game scared me for some reason. See, this guy, this guy came out of nowhere. I wasn't prepared for him, so... We're gonna kill him with the up and down real fast. Then we're gonna hide over here. And we're gonna wait for him to come by us. Boom, bam, boom, bam. So I got tired of doing that, guys. And I just pu end up pulling out the gun and killing him. Watch, bam. Shot him in the foot. side of this corridor that's completely blown out i can modify your shield emitters to make a thin bubble around you so i'll gradually freeze to death if i don't suffocate first do you have another suggestion so this space jump is gonna be actually really cool guys uh and yeah no it's pretty simple after this uh, just space running it's pretty awesome You know, another thing that's really surprised me is that the, these low energy packs didn't just fly off into space. I found that weird. You're incredible. How did you survive that? Honestly, I have no idea. All you've got to do now is activate the console and I can take it from here. To be honest, that's the least scariest thing here. Another deck module with the address algorithm for this deck. 
We only need one more and we'll have them all. Um, um, <laughs> I hate space. I hate space so much. That's it. The communication hub is online. I have a connection to the sensor grid now. Iris is reporting gravimetric readings. That'll make jumping away a damn sight safer. As a fringe benefit, the Solex terminals will have a little extra information from now. It can now pinpoint the crew's bodies on each deck. Which is good news, because we're going to need to find the captain. To get onto the bridge? Yes. Iris doesn't recognize either of us as in command right now. But with Kaya's DNA, I should be able to fool the genetic probe. There's an emergency deck porter here. It can take you back to comms. Let's get to deck four and find the captain's body. On my way. Okay, guys. That was the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and see you guys next time. Have yourselves a good day, guys.